Welcome to my presentation about neutrino oscillations. There are three flavors of neutrinos. The electron neutrino, the muon neutrino, and the tau neutrino. They are similar to their partners, the electron, muon, and tau particles, however, neutrinos are electrically neutral. Therefore, the electromagnetic force does not act on them. They are only affected by the weak force, which is much shorter range, which lets neutrinos pass through matter with very few interactions. There are trillions of neutrinos passing through your body every second. Because of the humongous amount produced by the sun, stars, and because of neutrinos generated shortly after the Big Bang. Since neutrinos have mass, they also interact gravitationally, but gravity is the weakest of all known forces. The interesting property of neutrinos is that they oscillate. Oscillations are more known as a wave property, but work on particles as well. Particle wave oscillations are based on the concept of wave interference, which means two waves are added together to produce a resulting wave. When the two waves are added, at the places where they are both positive, they simply add their amplitude to produce contractive interference. At the places where one of the wave amplitude is negative, the waves will interfere destructively. However, if the two interfering waves do not have the same frequency, the resulting wave is not just smaller or bigger version of the original waves. When one wave is at its maximum and the second wave is crossing zero, the resulting wave will resemble the first wave. It will have the same frequency as the first wave. When the situation is reversed, the resulting wave will have the frequency of the second wave. The transition between these two states happens at a frequency equal to the difference of the frequencies of the two initial waves. It has been observed that particles have wave-like properties. When a particle behaves like wave, it obtains a frequency which is proportional to its energy. And that is how neutrino works. Neutrino flavors do not have a defined mass. They are a combination of all three mass states. After a neutrino of a given flavor is created, it will oscillate between the electron, muon, and tau flavors because of interferences between the three neutrino mass states as it propagates through space. For example, if a neutrino gets created as an electron neutrino, it is transformed to a muon neutrino at a later time. Then it will transform back or to a tau neutrino as it goes along. This phenomenon was observed experimentally and taught us more about neutrinos such as they are not massless, even though their mass is very low. Also, the masses are different for each type of neutrino. Thank you for listening.